Today I'll explain the movie A Separation. There are some films that cannot in any way be compared to any other film. One such movie is this Iranian film. It's true that this film won the Oscar in 2011, and it also eloquently captures many of the little facts of our society, which will make you reflect. This movie is directed by Esker Farhadi. He is one of the best directors in the world and he has won multiple Oscars. I promise you won't waste your time, and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, do it right now for more heart-touching videos like this. So without further ado, let's go to the main story of the movie. The movie starts with a court scene, where a middle-aged couple, Nader and Simin come for their divorce. The judge sitting in front asked Simin, why you want to divorce your husband? Does your husband drink alcohol? Simin says, no. Judge asked her again, so does your husband torture you a lot and beat you a lot? Simin again says, no, and she says that, my husband is a very good person. Then judge asks her, then why do you want to divorce him? Then Simin kept saying, I got a good job outside the country. I want to settle there with Nader and my daughter, but Nader doesn't want to leave this country and go somewhere else, so, I want to divorce him, if Nader agrees to go with me, I will cancel the divorce letter now. Nader then talks to Simin. He said, my father has no one else in this world. My father is very old, he cannot live alone. It is not possible for me to go out of the country leaving my father alone. Then Simin told him, we can live much better if we go abroad and our daughter's future will be very good. Nader and Simin argue a lot. Nader does not agree to leave his father alone and go abroad, because Nader thinks that as a son he cannot avoid his responsibility to his father, and this thought should be in every child of the society. Because when parents get old, they become very helpless. However, when Nader does not agree to go abroad with Simin, then Simin signs the divorce letter. But judge does not accept Simin's divorce letter. Judge deems, this reason not sufficient for a divorce. Simin angrily leaves the place as the divorce letter is not accepted, and she left Nader's house altogether. But before leaving the home, she hires a woman named Razia, to do the housework, so that she can look after her daughter and Nader's father. Actually, Razia was not a working woman, she is forced to work here for some reason. Razia's husband borrowed money from many people, and often went to jail for defaulting. So Razia comes here to work to earn some money to pay off her husband's debt. But Razia's task was not easy at all. When she comes to work on the first day, she finds that Nader's father has peed on his clothes, and Razia being a very religious woman, she never wants to touch another man. She tries hard to change clothes without touching Nader's father, but she failed. Nader's father was so old that he could not understand anything Razia said. So Razia is forced to call an Islamic figure. Razia asks him, can I touch a 70 to 80 years old aged man for work, who can't do anything by himself, can I change his dirty clothes? Then the Islamic personality told him, yes Razia, you can, and there will be no sin for you. After hearing this, Razia changed Nader's father's clothes. But even then she could not completely erase this matter from her mind, because she was a religious woman. Razia had a daughter and she used to come to work at Nader's house with her daughter every day. Along with that, Razia was also pregnant. This is how Razia's day was passing, but one day, Nader and his daughter suddenly come home. They called a lot from outside but no one opened the door from inside the house. Then Nader forced to open the door with another key he had and they entered the room. And upon entering the house, he found his father's hands tied to the bed, and he is lying on the floor. Nader was very nervous after seeing this scene. Seeing his father's frozen body Nader and his daughter think his father may be dead. Nader's daughter burst into tears for her grandfather, but Nader takes a closer look and realizes that his father is not actually dead, he is still alive. Nader tries hard to heal his father. At the same time he tells his daughter, you check the rooms, maybe Razia might have stolen many things and ran away. Nader's daughter did the same. In the meantime, Razia entered the house with her daughter. Nader gets very angry seeing Razia and he keeps telling her, you have stolen money from my house, and you do it every day. You leave my father like this and go out every day. Today is lucky, that I came home suddenly, otherwise I would never have known this fact. Nader asks Razia to leave, and he says, I won't give you even a single money, because you have already stolen a lot of money. On the other hand, Razia tries hard to prove herself innocent. She kept saying, I didn't steal, please don't call me a thief. I came to work in your house for money, not to steal. 
Razia starts crying a lot and she says, I didn't steal, and my work money is very much needed today. But Nader doesn't listen to her. He throws Razia out of his house and he came to his father and started serving him. In the meantime, Razia comes there again, she kept pleading with Nader for the money she was owed. Because of this, Nader gets even more angry, he takes Razia to the door and pushes her out and he closes the door. Because of pushing, Razia has fallen down outside. Then a woman came and picked her up, and then the situation got worse. After some time, Nader's wife came home and she tells Nader, Razia's unborn baby died due to the push you gave to Razia. Then, Nader and Simin go to see Razia at the hospital. After going there, they met Razia's husband. Razia's husband knew Nader from before. He gets very angry on seeing him, and starts beating him, and he said that, my child died because of you. I will never forgive you. I want justice for my dead child. Then the incident went to the local court. The judge told Nader, if it is proved that the child died because of you, then you must be jailed for three years. Nader continues to tell the judge, believe me, I didn't know that Razia was pregnant. If I had known that, I would not have mistreated Razia let alone pushed her. He further says, Razia tied my father to the bed and went out that day, due to which my father almost died, so I could not control my anger. Hearing these words, Razia's husband started abusing to Nader in front of the judge. Then the judge said to Razia's husband, if you keep talking like this, then I will send you to jail right now. This is how Razia's case continued in court. Nader asks his daughter's teacher to testify in court that Nader knew nothing about Razia's pregnancy. Nader's daughter's teacher went to court and gave that witness. And when Razia's husband comes to know about this, he gets very angry. He goes to Nader's daughter's teacher's school and insults her a lot. He says to the teacher, you gave false witness on purpose, didn't you? And if you have given true witness then tell me by touching Quran Sharif. On the day of the next hearing of the case, Razia's husband again contradicted the judge, and the judge also learned that Razia's husband went to the teacher's school and he misbehaved with her. For these reasons, judge jailed Razia's husband for three months. Hearing this, Razia is very distressed, she kept pleading with the judge, she kept saying, my husband is in a lot of debt, due to which he is always in a lot of depression, he is not mentally healthy at all. But the judge gave his verdict, he has nothing else to do. On the other hand Nader learns that, on the day of the incident, Razia went to a gynecologist leaving his father. Nader then thinks that, Razia's husband might have beaten Razia a lot, due to which she went to the gynecologist. Then one day, Nader's daughter said to Nader, Dad, I know that, you already knew that Razia was pregnant. Because I saw, Razia took the phone number of the gynecologist from my teacher in front of you and she also talked about her pregnancy. Nader then told his daughter, if you say this in court, I will be sentenced for three years. Then, the day came for Nader's daughter to testify. She goes to the court and she lies in the court according to his father. But after giving this false witness, Nader's daughter suffered a lot, she starts feeling very guilty and she realizes that, she has committed a great sin by telling this lie in court, she shouldn't have done it at all. Meanwhile, Nader's wife was very worried. Because, somehow if her husband gets jailed for three years, it will affect her daughter's future. So, she goes to Razia's house and offers some money to Razia's husband to drop the case. Razia's husband does not agree at first, but the people around them make Razia's husband understand that. You need this money right now. Because you are in a lot of debt. By getting this money you can lighten your debt burden. Razia's husband then agreed to drop the case with the money. When Simin tells this to Nader back home, Nader does not agree at all. Because we know that, Nader is basically a good-hearted person, he was very sorry for this in his heart. He wanted to be punished for his sin somehow. Simin got very angry after hearing Nader's words. She says, you stay as you are, I am leaving here with my daughter now. Seeing his daughter leave, Nader agrees to Simin's proposal, he agrees to pay to close the case. But the next day a strange thing happened, Razia comes to meet Simin. She told Simin, I can't take your money in any way. I think, I will commit a great sin then. As a result, God will never forgive me. Simin says, how about this possible, we have harmed you, my husband has sinned by killing your child. So we want to compensate you a little. Then Razia says to Simin, your husband did not spoil my child. One day, I went out for a walk with your father-in-law before your husband pushed me. Then your father-in-law suddenly walks into the middle of the road, 
and when I went to save him, a car came from behind and hit me, and I fell down. That night I started having severe stomach pain, and I think, my baby died that night. So I don't want to take this money from you, because, taking this money will be my sin. I may be poor, but I don't want to buy sin. Then, Simin leaves without saying anything to Razia. In the next scene, Nader Simin and their daughter goes to Razia's house. Basically, they went there to pay the money. Razia's husband was also there along with many people from whom Razia's husband had borrowed money. They were all waiting there for money. But Nader says, I want to give the money only to Razia. Then Razia's husband goes to kitchen to call Razia. But Razia refuses to come. Because, we know that, Razia does not want to take this money at all. Hearing this, Razia's husband got very angry, and he kept saying, there are so many creditors sitting, now you are not agreeing to take this money. Razia's husband leaves the house very angry. Then Razia comes in front of everyone, and she starts crying in front of all the creditors, and she says to Simin, I forbade you not to bring the money, why did you come anyway? Ruining my family, humiliating me in front of these people what did you gain? Then, comes the last scene of this movie, where we seen, Nader and Simin's daughter has been called to court. The judge asked her, who do you want to live with, your father or your mother? And we understand that, Nader and Simin got divorced. When the judge asked Nader's daughter this question, their daughter began to cry profusely, and she asks the judge, do I have to give the answer now? Judge told her, yes, you have to answer now. Then Nader's daughter said, I know, who I want to live with, but I don't want to say that answer in front of my parents. Nader and Simin come out from there, and they both stand side by side. And with their waiting scene, the story of this movie ends. I know, the ending of the story of this movie seems a little strange to you. But believe me, it doesn't end well, the director has left the whole thing up to you. Because I told you first, this is not only a movie, this is a big reality of our society where divorces like Nader and Simin are happening constantly, and the result of this divorce is not the same in all people's lives. So you can arrange the ending of this movie in your own way. And let me know your thoughts in the comments, who did the girl actually go with, did she go with her father or mother, so far today. Finally, I will say one thing, a divorce not only separates two people, it also separates many dreams. With this, children are deprived of the true love of their parents. So learn to compromise a little from your own place. I hope you will be well, and pray for me. Goodbye like today. Thank you, thank you so much.